I'm gonna give you three super simple ways to know if she's ready to sleep with you, okay? So what this is all gonna boil down to, it's gonna be you making sure you are making a move. So one of the main reasons, and it's funny that this is the case, but one of the main reasons why a woman doesn't sleep with you is because you don't make it happen, okay? And I'm gonna be going through kind of like the three biggest steps that get to that point that make it happen. A lot of guys don't take action. Really, a lot of guys don't take action even going for the kiss or asking for a date. Like they don't even take it that far and land themselves in the friend zone, okay? Now, when I go over these, they're gonna seem in a way obvious, but here's what you have to understand. There's no secret or subtle or hidden signs that she's ready to sleep with you. The guys who are asking that are afraid of rejection. This is why guys really like to know the signs a girl's interested in them. Like one of my biggest videos on this channel is signs that a girl's interested in you. The reason why guys ask that is because they want the signs, because they don't wanna move forward and take action unless they know they won't get rejected. So it's the same thing here. The reason why you're watching this is probably because you want the secret signs, like you wanna be able to read her mind so you know whether it's okay. Well, I'm gonna be giving you the three things to do in order to know if it's okay and uh, it's super simple. It just takes some courage to be able to do it. So let's go through the first one. Okay, the first one, I'm looking down because I've been writing notes on a computer because I just want to get this right. So the first one is this. She's agreeing to come to your place. Okay, so that's where it's going to happen. We're not going to do it at her place. We're not going to uh, do, well, do it somewhere public, obviously. Maybe if you're in a relationship or something like that. But the first time is usually going to be at a place and it's gonna be at your place because you're the man and you're being dominant and you're leading the interaction. So you're gonna get her back to your place. I like to say that you can get her back to your place on the first date if you guys happen to be close to your place. Uh, normally this happens on date two or three, like the best third date to do. It, well, I'll give it the whole sequence. Best first date is a drink or coffee or tea. Second date is a dinner. And the third date is just back to your place. So third date is, hey, come over and I'll make dinner for you. You guys have some wine hang out, listen to music, and then boom, it can happen. But either way, back at your place, okay? So that's step one. She's agreeing. Now, this doesn't mean that she's 100% in, but this is the obvious step where we, she's probably interested because that's where the where, that's the place where it can happen, okay? All right, so number two, number two, the second step here is she is going to be cool with your advances. She's advancing with you as you're escalating, right? So you're going for the kiss, you are fondling, groping, so to speak. Groping is not really the best word, but you know, you guys are getting hot and heavy. You're touching each other. You guys are on the couch. You kind of lift her up. You put her on you. You guys are making out, getting into it. Clothes are starting to come off. So this is another second sign. This is the second part of the escalation process is you guys are kind of in this pre-stage, maybe even get to the point of foreplay. Okay, so you're at that point. So this is a great sign that she's probably interested in it. I know this sounds like I'm teaching <laughs> like high schoolers uh, the birds and the bees, but really this, this is it. Like these are the signs and this is more so giving you like what you need to do to make this happen, okay? Like this is the process and you have to make these moves. So if you get anything from this video, if you understand all this already, it's you got to make the move. You got to make the move. Third time here, I'll say it. You got to make a move, okay? And the third thing is consent, right? Which is simple. And consent is something that you have to do. It's important to do it. You don't want to have sex with a girl who's not interested anyways. And also, don't worry. A lot of guys are like, no, be a man. You don't need to ask for consent. Like, that's lame. Like, you're going to blow the moment. Like, it's going to be this, this really hot moment. And then you ask her, and then all of a sudden, she's completely turned off. No, that's not how it works. And also, you don't have to be really lame about it and say something like, so would you like to perform intercourse right now? Okay, you don't have to do that. But you can say something where it's obvious, where you can say like, hey, should I go get a condom? Great line. In fact, that's the only line I'm going to give you right now. Just use that. It's great. Should I go get a condom? Okay, that is like obvious. Boom, you guys are going to do it. All right. So that is, boom, she's interested. She wants to do it. Everything in between is just you being a cool guy. You're using TED, my TED system, which I talk about in my Hooked program. I'll 
put a link down below for that so you can check that out using the TED system to build attraction. And then the next step is building investment, which means that she wants to continue to see you and then she wants to have sex with you. And then when she does, does have sex with you, by the way, that's a point where she becomes even more invested in you, okay? So you're building attraction, building investment, and showing her that you are a safe guy. You're not gonna hurt her. You're not gonna judge her sexually and make her feel bad for you know, anything she says or does around sex. So you're gonna be a cool guy that's not needy, that is going to build the attraction I'm talking about, and through all of this, just get her interested. I know that I make it sound a lot easier, uh, like easier said than done here. And of course, you know, that alone is not going to necessarily make you a complete player and sleep with all these girls. But what it's going to do is it's going to get you closer than ever before. A lot of guys who don't end up having sex with girls or getting into a relationship with girls are guys who just really are not charismatic and don't have the courage to do so. A lot of guys who are uh, taking themselves out of the situations where they can meet women and escalate and take it to the next level and be dominant and be a guy who's good socially and good around people and who does his best to, you know, dress well, like in cool Hawaiian shirts like this, uh, dress well, groom well, and that will give you more options than you ever thought. If you want the more details and specifics, again, go into the link below and check out my hook program and that's where you can get uh, more of the instructions on exactly how to do that. But for now, you know, just follow this and understand how it works and it's a lot simpler than you think. Hope that helps and I'll see you in the comments.